Hello, you guys. Um, I know it's been a ball. I've been trying to figure out how I want to approach the situation or whatever. But um, I'm pretty sure everybody currently knows about the Black Lives Matter movement going on currently. And I'm also pretty sure that everybody's familiar with the George Floyd situation. Now, my views on that is... I don't understand why people in general keep trying to put in the fact that he has drugs or whatever in his system. It does not matter if he had drugs in his system. Nobody deserves to die that way. Black Lives Matter is not a protest against white people in general or other people that aren't black. It's all about the fact that people are claiming all lives matter. If black lives do not matter and we're still getting killed for no reason, all lives don't matter because we're a part of this. I don't understand the fact that a person should die like that and people are worried about the looting. If you're worried about the looting instead of the fact that he really died for no freaking reason, so the fact that he was saying, hey, I cannot breathe and the officer did not care. The fact that he originally got a third degree murder charge instead of a first degree when that was first degree murder. Anybody that could see that with their eyes, that was first degree murder. So that is the reason why we are rioting. Me personally, I am not rioting because I'm not I'm not with the looting and everything like that, but I understand it. If you do not understand the fact that black people are tired of dealing with this mess and then it's just getting swept up underneath the rug, until you go to a freaking beauty supply store and have somebody basically chase you around the stores and they're watching you and then when you turn around and look at them they decide that they're checking prices or whatever we're not stupid we're really not we understand that you're watching us to make sure that we're not stealing i personally have never stolen a thing in my life if like i've accidentally walked out the store with something in my hand and had to bring it back because mentally my conscience cannot handle that but people in general do not understand it because we are seen as people that steal the reason why this rising mess is going on is because in our reality, when we peaceful protest, nobody listens to us. When we talk peacefully and we're contained, nobody listens to us. So when we start acting up and start doing stupid stuff, that's when y'all want to pay attention to us. So that's why they are rioting. That's why people are looting. I don't understand that. Until we get justice, there will be no peace. I also was on TikTok, what was it like? Sometime in the middle of like last week or whatever. And seen a Caucasian woman talking about the fact that she has to be scared for her white son to go outside and it just clicked in my brain that hey there are actually people out here that don't worry about their children going outside and they're not worried about their significant others and stuff going to work because they know in their mind that they're protected in my brain I did not click that until she had said that she was like I am worried about my white son going outside because I don't know if he is safe and I was like yo there's people out here that worry about their children and their significant others going outside and not coming back home safely i didn't understand that that was i like really didn't understand it because in my brain that was normal because we all in this black community have to worry about that if we send our black children outside we have to go through we have to go through all that stuff so i was like i was just really mind blown and um, i'm going to pause the video right now and um sit there i'm gonna put the, the video right here if i can find it and i'm going to find it because that video really hit home bro if i can find the video i'm going to post it right here on tiktok well right from tiktok duh but it never clicked in my brain that people don't have to worry about this is my son this is my 13 year old white son now you are not going to tell me that i have to worry about my son as much as black mothers have to worry about their sons. You're not going to tell me that racism does not exist in this country. You are not going to tell me that there is equality. And you're not going to tell any black mother in the world that she does not have to worry about her kids. What happened to George Floyd was murder. It was murder. Period. And now his mother, who he cried out to, doesn't get to be with her son. So Black Lives Matter. Quit being racist. Quit your shit. Because no mother deserves to go through what that woman just went through. No mother. No matter their color. You have to explain to your children that 
it does not matter the situation and how mad you are you cannot sit here and go let it start wilding out because of the fact that hey they're not going to focus on the fact that you're wilding because it's a reason for it they're going to think of you as hey you're the angry black woman or you're the thug that is in here wilding for no reason it doesn't matter what's going on you have to sit here and not react to it and have to still respond to it in a positive and professional way because they're going to target you until you have to explain to your child why they have to straighten their hair before they go to an interview because that increases the chances of you getting a job that was like that you won't understand that until you have to explain to until you have to explain to your child that hey like no and even when picking baby names bro until you have to sit still and actually really think about the spelling of your child's name because the fact that they are african-american and their child is letting their, their child's name is unique they may not get the job but we have people out here named vincent van gogh how the heck do you spell that but that's unique when we do it it's called ghetto so until you have to explain to your child that I don't want like you cannot understand what we are going through so yes we are mad because it really is inequality I do not understand it because I have seen situations where I've had friends that were Caucasian that a cop said something to them and they mouth back and they were fine the moment that I if I was to do that mess I would either be chased shot or handcuffed it matters we always have to be paying attention. We have to be always on our guard. Until you have to sit still and explain to your child that they have to do research on where they're going to live if they decide to live in the upper class neighborhood because you don't want to you don't want your child to be targeted and look with racism because of where they live in. The fact that they're the only brown child there. I don't want to I don't want to hear that mess. You cannot understand. Until you want to like, until you want to go explore a different area in your neighborhood and have to do research and sit there and reach out to different friends and stuff to see the, what the environment looks like because you don't want to walk into something where you don't want look where you have people talking about we don't serve you here and this just is like i've had situations like that happen recently i'm talking 2019 honey people don't care so until you have to explain that to your child you will not understand that and so you have to explain to your child why they cannot do the same things that their Caucasian friends can do because we are seen as the angry black people whenever we decide to try and express ourselves we're, we're ghetto or whatever you will not understand that so I rest my case all lives really do matter black lives have not been taken into consideration with anything going on people ignoring the racism and that goes for other races as well as long as black racism because black racism does it does exist it just doesn't have any power behind it and that's why it's not taken seriously i am tired of this foolishness and just because just in case you didn't know um also unpopular opinion being or being racist is just as bad as being homophobic being homophobic is just as bad as hating somebody because they do different stuff than what you want them to do that is beyond stupid i don't see the purpose in sitting there wasting your breath and freaking energy and running up your blood pressure over something that has nothing to do with you just because somebody is gay or lesbian or whatever what does that got to do with you honey i'm straight in a ruler but guess what i still support all of this mess right here honey it's equality equality focus can you see it can you see it can you see it you're going to see it equality is important until we get equality we're not going to stop it's going to keep happening until you have to explain to your child the proper etiquette on what you're supposed to do when you get shot and then still understand that hey even if i do everything that this cop tells me i'm still going to get shot possibly you will not understand so until you have to explain to your child that hey you have to be paying attention because even though this is a cop, you are not protected. I've had situations where I'm pretty sure the only thing that saved me was the fact that I had one of my Caucasian friends in the car with me. Until you get stopped by a cop and start crying because you don't know if you're going to live or not, you will not understand that. And it's time that people understand that. The fact that y'all are uncomfortable right now, y'all are upset. We're upset every day because as soon as we come out of our mom. We have that worry about everything in our freaking lives. I have friends that literally target Caucasian men to try and have children with them just so that way 
their children may come out as a lighter skin and be passing for white just so that way their children don't have to deal with the mess that's going on in our life right now and that should not be something that happens so y'all let me know what y'all feel in the comments because i'm tired of this foolishness until we get justice for George Floyd and everybody else that has died because of this foolishness, we are going to keep acting up because that's what y'all pay attention to. Y'all pay attention to the peaceful protest. Y'all pay attention to us acting up. So until y'all get what we need to get done, we're going to keep acting up. I'm sorry, we just are. I don't I was I don't approve of it, but I understand it and it's going to keep happening. So it is what it is. Let me know how y'all feel in the comments, honey. I'ma stop raging and everything. And I'ma, I'm you know what, I'ma I'm go ahead and end of this. All right, bye, thank you. Sorry about the air conditioning noise, but it's hot. I refuse to drive down the street without air conditioning on just for this video, I'm sorry. But I'm going to pause it and put it right here. Yeah, so um, that's the video right here. Mm -hmm. Focus, focus, yeah, focus, focus on it.